Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for fifth graders. Our concept is order of operations. This is part two. Remember fifth graders, it always seems impossible until it is done. We have our fifth grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. The links will be in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Do you need a math or reading tutor? We offer virtual one-on-one -on -one and group tutoring for second to eighth grade students. Parents, there's a link in the description box so you can sign up for a free 30 minute consultation. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell, and smash that like button so that you will be alerted to new videos we upload and also spread the word about Hype Math. We greatly appreciate your support. So let's talk about order of operations. Most times we hear PEMDAS, which stands for Please Excuse My Dear Aunt Sally. This is the way we remember the order of operations when solving an expression. First, we have parentheses or brackets. Next, we have exponents. Then we have multiplication and division in order from left to right. That means that multiplication, if you have a problem and it has multiplication and division in it, you start from left to right solving the problem. And last, we have addition and subtraction, again, in order from left to right. So let's look at an example of how we apply PEMDAS. <laughs> Our expression says eight squared plus, in parentheses, six minus two, times five minus 10 divided by two. So step one, we are going to tackle the parentheses. We have six minus two, and that is equal to four. Now our expression is eight squared plus four times five minus 10 divided by two. Second step is exponents. We have eight squared, which is eight times eight, that is 64. So now my expression is 64 plus 4 times 5 minus 10 divided by 2. Next, we have multiplication and division from left to right. Remember, in order from left to right. So now my expression is 64, and we have four times five, that's equal to 20, minus 10 divided by two is five. So our expression is now 65, I'm sorry, 64 plus 20 minus five. Next, we have adding and subtracting. So we're going to start with 64 plus 20, that is equal to 84, minus five and 84 minus five is equal to 79. Let's dive into our first problem. Remember, we have our fifth grade math review workbook available for purchase in our store. Number 19 says, what is the value of the expression below? It's four and then in brackets, we have 4.5 minus two times 1.2 and then we end the bracket. Now, I know you see those parentheses, fifth graders, that is multiplying two times 1.2, okay? Is our answer, is the correct answer F, which is 8.4, G, which is 15.6, H, 12, or J, 19.2? In order for us to solve this problem, the first thing we are going to do is ask ourselves, what are we looking for? Very important question. And we are looking for the value of the expression. Now that we know what we're looking for, our next question is, what information can help find the answer? So the information we need is that we need to tackle what's in those brackets 
first, okay? We need to tackle what's in the brackets first. So how do we solve the problem? Well, we are going to apply our PEMDAS. So first we have two times 1.2, that's because it's multiplication. And again, we're looking in those brackets first. So two times 1.2 is equal to 2.4. Now in our brackets, we have 4.5 minus 2.4. We're still in the brackets, we need to subtract. 4.5 minus 2.4 is equal to 2.1. Now that we're done with our brackets, we need to multiply four times 2.1, and that is equal to 8.4. So now that we have found the solution to our problem, what we're going to do next is look to see what answer choice has 8.4 as the answer. And if you guessed F, you're absolutely correct. F is the correct answer for our expression. Great job, fifth graders. Now let's move to question number 20. What is the value of the expression shown? We have in for our expression in brackets 45 minus, then in parentheses, six plus three, close parentheses, times 27. So is the correct answer A, 1,134, B, 972, C, 198, or D, 1,206? To answer the question, you already know what we need to do. Figure out what we are looking for. And we are looking for the value of this expression. Now that we know what we're looking for, the next thing we need to do is figure out what information do we need in order to find our answer. And of course, it's going ahead and solving what's in the brackets first, okay? And we're gonna apply PEMDAS. We know the first thing is we have the parentheses or brackets, and that's what we need to do first. So let's dig in and figure out how we need to solve the problem. So again, we're starting with our brackets, and within the brackets, we have 45 minus in parentheses six plus three. So we are going to start with our parentheses first. Six plus, plus three is equal to nine. We're still in our brackets. 45 minus nine, so we need to subtract. 45 minus nine is equal to 36. And now we have 36 times 27, and that is equal to 972. So what is our correct answer? We need to find the answer choice that shows 972. Do you see it? Yes, if you said B, 972, you're absolutely correct. And that is it, fifth graders, for Order of Operations Part 2. Remember, we have our fifth grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. And if you need a tutor, parents can sign up for a free 30-minute consultation. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. I will talk to you later.